This is 2D Delaunay triangulation projected onto the x squared plus y squared paraboloid. On the right, we have the 3D view, and on the left, we have the 2D view. So these are the same points projected over here. The red points are the points the z equals 0 plane, and the points up here are in the z equals x squared plus y squared parabola. So we can edit the mesh by going to add vertice mode. We can click and it adds points at that location. We can also delete points by clicking on them in delete mode. And we can also move points. can also fill. This will add 15 points at random locations. And we can also clear. We can clear all vertices. Add a few points back. And then for edges, we can manually add edges where we select two vertexes. And also delete edge. You can also do auto where it fills it between vertices. Fill. Here, clear will the edges. Just clear the edges. You can also hit clear. This will clear both vertices and edges. Just fill out some points. Oh, it looks like, oh, so edge auto means that when you add points, it will automatically add edges to that point to create a triangulation. Simpson menu item here. We have batch mode. This runs the Delaunay triangulation. We have step mode where you click to advance the algorithm. And we also have movie mode, which steps through it at one second intervals or half second intervals. Let's do step mode. So here we move these. I don't like these vertices. I think auto is still on. Add some weird triangulation. Delaunay triangulation prevents long, skinny triangles. Add, add a bunch like this. All right. Well, let's go to step mode. So it highlights the selected triangle. And it selects an edge from that triangle to test. It cr Delaunay triangulation creates a circle through the three points of the triangle uh, for both along both faces. So this is the ed this is the triangle. This is the edge selected. So we test the other face that is connected to that edge. This triangle. And if the alternate or the opposite point is within that triangle, then you will do an edge swap, as it is here, since the circle created from these three these three points, that circle contains the opposite point. And same thing for this circle contains this point. So it does an edge swap. And this continues throughout the entire triangulation. So we can just click, test them all. And go to movie mode where it will continue to step. The data structure that holds these in is split edge data structure. So we have an edge going this way and we also have an edge going this way. It's one edge but in the data structure it's two and it also has pointers for the face that is connected to that edge as a pointer to the origin vertex and the destination vertex and each vertex has a pointer to the edge and then you can there's a method to grab the counterclockwise edge so you can cycle through all edges here you can cycle through edges of a face and many other using the split edge data structure so it ran through the program here and you will notice that the Delaunay triangulation cuts out less of the 3D paraboloid so when we Let's clear the edges. I turn auto off. 
clear edges and say we do the fill mode so it fills it it cuts off a lot of the paraboloid through the center and as it steps through it it will fix that so these edges going through the center of the paraboloid swapped so it's more like the x squared plus y squared paraboloid and to and also these menu items up here toggle whether the x-axis red bar here is showing or not and the y-axis green bar oh, the grid is currently hidden for the 2d mode here so it just hides that and you can also hide faces oh does that just do the convex wall? oh no 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 it's because these are triangulated this edge was missing here then this face would not show and then for the 3d view it's the same I save the grid on this to show hide everything except for the red and blue points and then for the 3d view you can also if you change it to some crazy destination you can zoom in and out you can also reset the view you can drag the right mouse click to move the left mouse click is to rotate set it to the origin for the pivot point you can also on the keypad hit one to go along the positive y-axis look along there you can hit five for orthogonal mode hit seven for the top-down view you can hit control seven for the bottom-up view I think for the one is the positive y-axis and negative or I mean control and plus one is down the negative y-axis and then three so long negative x-axis and then control three is along the positive x-axis let's go back to regular view out of orthogonal this is the 3d delaunay triangulation we can also save and read points point locations two files and read them in that is pretty much the 2d delaunay triangulation projected onto the x squared plus y squared paraboloid. Thank you.